Okay, now we're moving on to the really valuable major pieces. This particular piece is called a rook. They're worth five points, and both sides have two of them. The white rooks start on a1 and h1. The black rooks on a8 and h8. The rook's pattern of movement is simple, but really, really strong. Rooks can move up and down and side to side as many squares as they want. For a quick test of your understanding, note the black pawn on c7. How many moves would it take for the white rook on e4 to capture it? Did you say two? That's correct. Note that there are two different paths it can take to do this. The best attack is to move the rook sideways to c4, then up to c7. Coach will explain that. But it can also go up first to e7, then sideways to c7. Rooks are easy in their movement, but they form a powerful duo. Okay, Chess NYC, let's do this. Back to work.